sorry, sorry, David. Hey, hello. Welcome to the YouTube interview, the effects of the COVID-19 virus on the arts and beyond. My name is Brian Murphy. We have a special guest today. He is a jack of all trades. He's done about anything. He's got a ballet teacher at the Scarsdale Ballet Studio. He is a choreographer at the Harvard Ballet Company, a ballet teacher at the New Zealand Dance School of Dance, all the way through where he danced with New Jersey Ballet. He was studying jazz dance at the, at the Gus jo uh, Gordiano Jazz Dance. <laughs> Thank you, there you go, exactly. So, I, you know, this guy has done a lot and I've known him for a long time. So without further ado, this is David Fernandez. Hi, David. Hello, Brian. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you are the jack of all trades, and I've known you that for a long time. What's really special about what you've done is that you started doing something about 10 to 15 years ago before really a lot of us even thought about. Why don't you explain to everybody what that was? Well, uh, one of the things is that I'm a choreographer, and I always wanted to create my pieces. And, you know, when you go through the process of... Uh, of you know trying to make your pieces just submit it there's two ways of doing it. one is just submit your piece to a company or a, to a choreographer a showcase and then you just wait to see if they choose you and then uh if they don't choose you, you your work never is being done so that's mm -hmm. a very very sad story because uh you know i have projects that i, I put seven years on the making and then those seven years will be tossed to the side yeah. you know and so one of the things that I thought, why I'm not, instead of waiting for them, for me, uh, uh, for them to, for, to create my pieces, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, companies, the season already choreographed and the, the politics and, you know, there's a tons of reasons why your work could not be uh, created. So I said, why instead of uh, waiting de for them to give me an opportunity to create my works, why I not do it myself, mm. okay? So one of the things that I say, okay, so I don't have a company, I don't have, uh, you know, money to do this, but I have an idea and I was uh, in New York and somebody walked past me while I was waiting tables and they said, you know, you don't need money, you need ideas. Mm. And then when, with that, I thought, yes, actually, yeah. If it's a good idea, people will help you one way or another. I agree, it doesn't necessarily, uh, I agree with you, actually, on that. I agree with you a lot. It really helps. People will help you if you are staying by behind your idea. Yeah, yeah. And, and a, an idea that it is not only good for you, but it, 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 is, it, it needs to affect a, uh, a group of people. Mm -hmm. And it's like a kind of a rule, like uh, when I see uh, some kind of idea coming together, I'm like, okay, so if this dancer come in, it's going to... Uh, help him you know if this producer is going to come here it's going to help him so it has to be all the people who are involved on the on the project they need to get something not only me no just like yeah you know where so with that in mind um i went to do the raven in this case the edgar Allan Poe, the raven and then, uh, i loved it the idea i developed the music uh, i was chasing you know trying to do the music so uh, the idea is take some dancers and take them to a studio and shoot that uh, the ballet just like that, not even a performance, just shoot it. So I have it in pay and film. You see, that's even the closest state of getting your work created, have it in film. That's step number one. At yeah. least you have it there. <laughs> yes, and, yes, then you do. That, uh, <laughs> and then at least your dream it came true yeah it, it happened, <laughs> it happened. You're, you're like this you had the camera you had the ballet it is in your hands and you know uh -huh. i think and, and david just you know the reason why this is important and i want to move forward just push forward a little bit here because uh -huh. you did this before anybody's even thought of it so you were thinking i'm just going to create a ballet i didn't have any money but to dancers who wanted to help you who wanted to get together you just told them hey get four dancers or whatever it was, and you made it. So let's jump forward about 10 more year, ten years to now. Well, I mean, I would just have to say yes. one in particular thing about that project. Uh, well, my Raven ended up being Joaquin de Luz and mm. Veronica Parts. 
from Navity and Charles Oscargard was the narrator. So it was a pretty good. Very good. Yeah. And, and wait a minute, there was another project. I shouldn't come, I shouldn't push forward too fast here. There was another project yeah. that you did that had to do with the, the men, the ballet of men's ballet. Like there was like a ballet with all men only. Did you do like a Kings of Men or Kings of Ballet or something? Uh, oh, it was the Kings of the Dance. Uh, it was a choreography that uh, I made a solo for Joaquin de Luz to mm -hmm. do the two with the Kings of the Dance. That it was really funny that he, they asked him, who did the choreography of the Raven and, and the producers, right? And they say, oh, David. And then they call me and they say, hey, would you like to do a choreography of solo for ah, Joaquin? Nice. Or the Kings of the Dance. And it was going to be Christopher Wildon and Tyler Tarp and just a long road to speak yeah. and, and Kenneth McMillan and I'm like, all right. <laughs> did so, you, I mean, at the time, did you, I, I know how you think. You just push forward and mm -hmm. you used to get these rejection letters, so to speak, and you oh, yeah, look yeah. at them, you put them on your, your wall, right? Uh, you yeah, learn, yeah, them, you, right? You learn from that, okay? Yeah, I mean, under the system, you know, there is not, the, most of the people who I admire, they never came up from Leadfield, or maybe a couple, but, Everybody, I think on this business or in any business, you need to earn your mm -hmm. position, you know. Yes. Uh, at this point, sometimes people, my friends say, hey, some of my friends say, hey, you're so lucky. And I'm like, lucky? You know, why now it looks like I'm lucky, but, you know, this has been like 30 years pushing, learning, being rejected and again and again, you know. And, and yes, right now I have good projects, but it, it is... I, you, you need to earn the, mm -hmm. the price. You know, you go, you go through the process. You know, you, you have to work, and, you know, honor, honor the system, I, right. I say. I, you know. And being consistent. So being consistent and, you know, obviously, we, you know, as in the way up, you need to be nice to everybody <laughs> because I've seen that. And you weigh up, you know, you got to see them back again. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes time. It takes double the time because obviously I, I'm an independent career where I don't come from a from a big company, you know, and then it, you just have to do extra work. But actually everybody does extra work. I mean, uh, people who really admire, they, they work really, really hard. Um, they do. And, and, and I think dancers are trained to work very hard. And so here we are now, David in this scenario and this is where i think your your knowledge and your information is so valuable and cool. and first of all beyond the knowledge and all that you have the determination to to do it uh, because it's so easy at times to fall off that wagon because it's difficult it can be yeah whatever the reasons are financially or whatever it is so but i want to actually talk about some you know some of the more detailed things that you have done what you would if you get advice to a dancer now who who's holding on to their heater and trying to do some video work for their dance studios there's a lot of them out there yeah i mean yes it, it is it was really uh, funny how i came through this because <clears throat> after all those years of, of filming and everything i little by little started to get into the filmmaking and um and one of the things uh, that started to revolutionize was the cell phone. And, you know, before I used to do my, my shows, you need to hire the camera guy, you have to rent the camera, then you send it to the editor, and then the editor send it to the color corrector. And they, then you have to format it, and then they publish it. Well, they, everything, everything in, uh, in the speed of time, it, it was thanks this guy. Okay, this guy, it just came to a point that I didn't need all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and then um, some, when I started to do this work, they look at you and you're like, are you shooting with an iPhone? And I'm like, yes, right? <laughs> and I have this lens. Just like, you know, if you're listening to the audio right now, he's holding onto an iPhone right now mm -hmm. and he has a lens on it. Uh -huh. And then it's, it's, an, it's, it's, is it connected to it? Is it like a lat? Does it lat yeah, on it? Yeah, this is, it's called Moment. Okay. This, this I caught my eye right away because I wanted to have like that, but you see. But, okay, so I kind of a jump a little bit faster because I basically started doing shoot film with just the, what it was here, with the camera of the iPhone. And then I will use the, uh, well, the i the iMovie application to do editing. So it was less, let, let's say that you don't have anything to do, that you're just doing like that. 
it is you are very capable to do films. I did a, mm. one film that was a, 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 a wide, 90 second wide film, mobile film festival, mm. and it was all with just the phone, nothing else. I mean, you are able to do incredible stuff with just this. I'm right now jumping and, you know, I wanted to show my toys. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see. You basically, you basically, but let me just say, basically, with this guy and with the iTunes, you can do stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do stuff. It will, uh, in, um, because you let's say, you know what you need in everything and with any app or anything, you just need good lighting. You just have to get away with good lighting. And then, uh, if you want to edit and add titles, you can do it in I and I uh, and I uh, movie. And um, and then from there, what happened is that I started to see other apps, you know, and then I started to move into that. But um, I am a, a graduated of the YouTube University of Filmmaking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you need to learn. A, it's in YouTube. You want to mm -hmm. learn how to, you know, shoot better. You know, there are lessons of how to shoot, how to frame, um, how to set your settings, you know, mm -hmm. and just with the iPhone, you know, and, and then, um, then, then the other part of how to edit, that's the other thing, you know, if you want to make sure that if I'm here and then you want to go closer yes. and how do you do that and then how to make sure that you can do this and then how you can manipulate the images you know and your iphone uh yeah it's uh everything is out there you just need to have the time and now i think you can have the time <laughs> and more than anything it is uh you just shoot there is nothing else but just shoot yeah and then it shoot and then you just kind of uh, you it is something that is yes with a practice with putting yourself into it uh just a and then you go jumping from one thing to another, editing, shooting, yes. uh, creating narrative, creating like that, uh, you know, things like that, adding, adding title, what is the best font, mm. what is very, every, the font is really important, you know, when, when you are posting something that is easy, readable, you know, the words that, the amount of words you have there. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff, like you only, when you put a uh, video, you need to have only four words not big test just describing the description four words and the medium and the maximum and then uh, there's so many uh, uh so, advice over there that uh obviously the only thing that you need to be uh, trying to do as i learn and do in films is that with a crew and everything is that you just have to do it you just have to keep going and then there and not everything is not gonna be perfect all the videos that i do that i'm gonna i wait i'm like oh i wish that i can have mm. do that better but you know what no you should get it together and send it and you know what uh, you're not a big house production so the most important thing i think uh, uh, is the message that you're trying to get the, there. Content. Uh, the, the content. content uh the content uh if you want to help uh if you want uh that it has to be, you know, real, uh, honest, you know, that what you're trying to do is trying to get the, uh, your message of something like you have, hey, you have a great exercise that you want to share, just share it, record yourself, uh, just make sure that you're visible and then uh, put your name so they know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's important <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh -huh. and, and, and you know just share it you know and i want to tell you I, I did this video when i was in italy a year ago and i did this video call with all the dancers and we we rehearsed and then we went to the streets and we went to the monuments and we put all this amazing work and then i went and then edited for two days and then mm -hmm. it, because we were it needed to be faster so we go again and then we go and post it. Boom. All right. You know, 600, 800 views, you know, like that. I mean, but then, great. but then, <laughs> but listen, listen, the, the artistic, the, one of the directors just filmed a teacher on the summer program. We were doing tan views. Da, 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 and she posted 57,000 views, wow. 57,000 views. But, but, but you see, the thing is that, uh, knowing that, uh, that anything could be good or bad, I mean, it gives you like the freedom of saying, Hey, I'm just going to put this, you know, you just put it, or you yes. could get, 
uh, and what, one of the things is like, why do you want to have a lot of views? Why you want to have views? Or you just wanted to do it to share it, you know, like you want to share it, this, your information. You want to do it for views, kind of a, it doesn't work like that. It has to be with, with it because you want to give it something. I think it's a very important that this point, uh, using social media is being always, well, for me personally, it's been more being, you know, honest of what you're trying to do. It's not just like, trying to sell, you know, stuff like that. Um, as a creator, as a choreographer, uh, when I try to create a piece, I want to entertain people, basically. I want to take them out of their, uh, you know, the, the life, you know, and then make them uh, stop the time for a second, yes. watching something, like a choreography as a performance, we do that, right? We come in, we are well prepared, and then we have these magical things happen on the stage, and people go and go and- they escape, uh, it's a good they, escape. They escape. Uh -huh. So these, the things that I do in, in video, is the same thing. Uh, it, is, it comes with a, hey, let's entertain, you know? It's been, I think all my life has been like, I'm gonna entertain, you know? <laughs> we entertain you. It's a natural thing, and, um, and uh, so, yes, uh, I think the content, it has to be uh, you know, something that you love. Let's say something that you love. You love, you love yes. This, uh, <laughs> that, that, like like, like you, you love this exercise. I, I love uh, Padre Shabbat. So I love, like, I, I'm going to show you this beautiful Padre Shabbat and this Padre Shabbat combination that I uh, stole from David Howard. But, you know, <laughs> I love it, you know, or something like that, or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, these PKs that I learned from uh, Gersey Kirtan a long time ago, and I stole it too. But anyway, so, but I love, and you know, those things, those are the things that I think uh, they have a, a lot of uh, value. You know, David, uh, when sharing. sharing your love, I, I'm going to just tell you, listening to you, and I'm sure whoever's listening to this feels the the love from you, <laughs> so, right? <laughs> and, on, and honestly though, it's not, I'm not even joking. And I think that uh, really what I'm getting out of this, and it's something that we always remember as we go into projects, as we go into things, when you share, and you really wanna share, and you share what you love, mm -hmm. people, it maybe take time, mm -hmm. but people will respond. And I think, what you you said something about having likes is it important to have likes or is it important to share because overall when you do when you're consistent and you share those likes over there that you did for one time it's actually it's actually people respond better to longevity and consistency they respond yeah. they really they can they connect to you david they connect i was looking at your facebook page and your videos they're nice you know what you're doing you can you can see that you love to share what you do. Yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately, I mean, uh, one of the key things, and this is it's a little bit of knowledge, obviously, mm -hmm. when you put something out there, it needs to be backed by certain kind of, of knowledge. Not, not only just put it, hey, I'm gonna put this exercise. No, but it has to be backed up, you know? And mm -hmm. uh, I, in these videos that I've been posting, um, obviously, they are just, I don't want to put the like a super master of this thing, you know. I'm, I'm like, you know what? Let's. I want to do something so basic that anybody can do it, you know. That uh, a kid can do it, a beginner can do it. Anybody who has never been able to see ballet or thought about doing ballet, they're going to be able to do it. Older people can do it and everything. So the range is big, right? They can sit, cross their legs, and then go happy. And, so, and then there, it's a little bit of exercise. Yeah. And then I, I'm making stretches, and then I put a puppy in the corner. I mean, but if you see the whole structure and the, the progression, it has a, a, you know, a logic that uh, later what I'm going to do is you see uh, all these four videos that I have, they have an explanation. Mm -hmm. And then you do the exercise explanation like this, you know. I'm gonna make a video that I'm gonna put and make with our explanation. So if you're gonna sit and then you go through the whole exercises mm -hmm. and it's kind of a 20 minutes like that, that a kid or any person we can mm -hmm. sit there and do this and then do a little stretch and you know, learn a little bit of ballet. So I mean with that I mean that's uh that's what I thought at the very beginning. And I have kids and I know they're 
the the parents also they need to uh, continue their um, their schedule and in, and also they need the parents a little break <laughs> so the kids can do go and focus on something so um but it's for everybody it's for yeah for so everybody. david to, to finish this up um uh -huh. a couple of things i'm getting from this here is mm -hmm. one you know these dancers love to dance and they love to teach so don't be afraid to put it out there you know what i mean just just yeah because, because they, it, it shows in them anyways because they they love it anyways so just be there yeah uh-huh yeah right and, and it, has some, it has some structure to it too it has some structure yeah, so yeah. like you just said right yeah yeah just go over there look right now it is uh, people are not qualifying a lot of a uh, quality of your you know this is more like the your effort the quality yes. of your effort that you sat there didn't do anything about it or you just went there and you're like i don't know i this is the exercise you know that i love and i want to make you know something that looks like we lost david david are you still there well I'm gonna finish up here. We I think we lost. Yes, we doing. What the teachers are doing? It's, it's an effort, uh -huh. and in, it's it's it is not gonna be pretty because we are not like professional uh, broadcasters, right? Mm -hmm. It is, uh, it, you know, some people are like learning how to speak right now on yes. on the cameras and everything. They're getting the courage of doing that because it's one thing is teaching on the class and then going suddenly open yourself Correct. out there it's different it is, uh, it's different, it's, different. it's like you you are acquiring a, a batch of uh, courage you know it's different, <laughs> yes, uh, it's a different uh, I, think, I think a lot of people i think a lot of people are earning a new that batch of courage of you know go yes. out and do it and uh it is uh you see it is making it stronger i think uh, this situation is making it stronger and um and, uh, and that's how I see it. We're gonna I love come it. Up, we're going to come on the other side and we're going to be, I know that the, the whole world is going to be, is going to be different, but at the same time, I think we're going to be stronger and, and the, everybody's going to be more sensible to a lot of things and appreciative of things that were taken for granted. And um, I, I mean, I can, I can wait. And uh, one of the things that, uh, there is a couple of things for Zoom when you're going to teach that if you have a question or something like that, I can help you because there is ways of, of how you can send the music mm -hmm. so you don't have echoes. Mm. And, and, uh, that, that's very important. Um, and, uh, and, and the three basic uh, things that as you Zoom, as you, if you're Zooming a class, Mm -hmm. It is very important because uh, the one is the Wi-Fi. You need to have a really, really, really good Wi-Fi. And uh, I just put my, myself. Yes, one you did. Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> because <laughs> my classes were falling, you know. But uh, everybody, and you see, I was teaching these lessons, and people, and people were so nice. They were like, I'm like feeling so. They're like, don't worry, we are all running, uh, learning here how to do with this. So everybody, the parents, the students, and you know they they are very understanding and that you know the most important thing is that you try to do it yes and uh, if you have any questions you know my you can post, yeah, post my you'll see it on email. here you'll I'll post it all you know, you please send me my information email, yes uh, my email and and in fact I, i'm going to talk to a friend my a student in mexico she, who she mm -hmm. wants to do zoom and i'm going to took her to the to the how she has to do it so nice everything runs there and i'd be happy I'm, i mean i'm i'm very happy to to tell you know what it is and also when you're teaching the class you don't feel frustrated that you can do the real thing uh it, this is it's again you're just gonna mm -hmm. find your way i'm i'm right now trying to find a way of how to do diagonals <laughs> and <I'm, laughs> <laughs> well, so, wait, well, well, I'm gonna, you know what, David? Uh, I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna, let's go to Tommy Padre. Tommy Padre. Chasse, chasse, chasse. So, like, chasse. Uh, I, learned, I, I learned that instead of going sideways like this, because I'm gonna get here, you have to use the diagonal yes, here. Uh -huh. yes. David, uh -huh. on that, you know what, David, on that note, I think yeah. this is a good time to finish. So, all right. But I wanna say something, and I really, first of all, one is I really appreciate you sharing your knowledge. I think 
I hope, you know what we should we, we should revisit this conversation yes of course uh, six months Let, uh, uh, we, yeah, re- yeah. we need to revisit because we're going to have a different kind of conversation potentially <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right so i i'd like to revisit this totally very much so and you know i think it's important that people listen to you and hear from somebody who's gone from the beginning really from before all this 10 years ago and here we are he's ahead of the game here so um, without further ado, I'm going to let you go here, David. And Daniel. I think that we, there you go. I appreciate your time. I really do. <laughs> and it, yeah, that's right. And, 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 and bye. bye, David. Have a good day. Keep bye. in touch. Keep in touch, okay? All right. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.